everyone, Samwave84 here with another fans pick up stuff. If you've been watching this series for the past month, you know I've been doing a tournament to determine the best Transformers toy from the 1984 toy line. So it's Transformers G1, and now I'm trying to figure out what my viewers or audience or people I pull on different sites think is the best Transformers toy from 1984. Now, I don't want people to judge it by media, by what, how they're represented in the cartoons, comics, and stuff like that. I want it just based purely on the original G1 toy. And we've been running through rounds. We're down to the championship matchup. And this is going to be between Optimus Prime and Soundwave. Now, I did not rig this to get Soundwave into the finals. But it's just... Out of 1984, they probably are some of the best toys. They have a lot of playability with them. And I'm going to kind of run through that a little bit in this video. I'm still going to keep it short and sweet. So this video will not take up much of your time. So all I want you to do is down in the comments below, leaving your choice between Optimus Prime and Soundwave as to which one is the best toy in your opinion. Before I get more into the video, if you're not a subscriber, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below as well as that bell notification icon notified of all my videos i do videos like this i also of course do review videos as well also you can do me a huge favor by either liking this video or disliking this video that tells me you either like this kind of series or you dislike this kind of series so just let me know that as well so let's get into the best toy from the kv4 optimus prime versus soundwave uh optimus prime lots of playability um he's a truck has a trailer that can actually store the cars from 1984. It can roll up into the back of the trailer. Many bots, the trailer opens, comes like a little mobile command center. You have a little car. You have a combat, combat deck, you can say. It's got computers. It looks like a little mini base. It is a really cool toy. Also, with fire missiles out of it. And also, it would eject roller to where he would like shoot down the ramp and stuff. Very, very cool toy for a kid back in the 1980s. On the opposite side, we have Soundwave. He had a lot of playability as well, because in 1984, he received a lot of his cassettes. Unlike Blaster from 1985, who came out just as a you know a stereo system with no cassettes, you had to wait to 1986 to pick some of those up. Soundwave came with Buzzsaw. Now, Buzzsaw actually took out of this, but the playability of the toy, Buzzsaw, you had Laser Beak, you had Ravage, you had Rumble, you had Frenzy, all different tapes you could interchange in and out of him or have him ejected. You had a button on the shoulder, but actually open up so you could pull the sets out. I still say Optimus Prime probably has more playability in the overall realm. Soundwave might have actually been the better robot, better actual Transformer toy when you're holding it. I think in robot mode, um, all Optimus Primes always had seemed to have a thing where the legs would easily kick back on you. Uh, sound would always seem more stable until you play with them, then it became a big, heavy, floppy mess, but that's what you get when you have a bunch of die-cast toys and you play with them a whole bunch of transforming Things get loose, things get floppy. As you get older, you know, things just don't seem to be as stiff as they, usually, you know, as they used to be. You get a little more floppy. You get a little saggy, a little baggy. Just, just things change. Oh, that is pretty much the video. Uh, I got a picture of the tournament right here so you can see it. Final round, Soundwave, Optimus Prime. So we have one Autobot, which is the Autobot Commander, Autobot Leader, and we have Soundwave, who was the Decepticon Spy. So let me know your choice down in the comments below. Soundwave, or Optimus Prime. Also, I've posted this already up on my other social medias, on my Facebook and Twitter, which you can follow me at Soundwave8084. Also, I posted on my Instagram, on my actual this news, my little feed, also, as well as my stories. So I've got this up. I also put it on my YouTube community tab, so you can vote there as well. It's not in a poll form, which I don't know why I didn't do it in a poll form. I just asked the question, and I put a picture up. And there's a picture I think you will catch your eye. And you can just write your response down below. Thanks for watching this video. I'll probably be back around Wednesday of next week to announce the winner of this 1984 tournament. And then to announce my next fans pick series, I'm still unsure of that. If I should do the 1985 line, just go ahead and move on. And, or if I should do, someone has suggested doing Siege. And that has a hell ton of figures. I'm trying to think of how to really do that. Because that is a whole bunch of figures, man. Um, but there's that. Or I could just do something totally different, totally random. And do a different like top 5, top 10 pick or something. 
I'm unsure how to continue on the fans pick series. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next one, peace out.